Before we start our lesson for today, I am inviting you to join us in a magical learning experience at home. Enroll now at Vibal's Happy Homeschool Program. You can find the details at the description part of this video. Hope to see you there! Our topic for today is very interesting. It can be seen as a magnificent natural beauty, but it can cause severe damage to properties and harmful effects to our environment. Do you know what this landform is? That's right! It is a volcano! For today's discussion, we will talk about volcanoes. Are you ready to learn with me? Come on! Hi everyone! Welcome to another episode of our Scientific Friday. I am Teacher Janelle and I'm on a journey again to understand the different things around us. Are you ready to join me for today's lesson? Come on! Have you been to Albay or Tagaytay Ridge? If you have been to Albay, then I think you have seen the famous perfect cone, the Mayon Volcano. On the other hand, if you have been to Tagaytay Ridge, then you have seen the volcano within the lake, the Taal Volcano. For today's lesson, we will explore the different types of volcanoes. In this topic, we will learn about the following. What are the different types of volcanoes? How can we classify volcanoes? Come on students, let's begin our lesson. Let us first define the word volcano. A volcano is a landform that has a main opening called a crater, which can spew hot molten rock called lava. The hot molten rock from the volcano comes from the magma chamber deep within the earth. A volcano usually has a summit, a slope, and a base. Active volcanoes may release volcanic materials like lava, steam, ashes, and sulfur gas. Volcanoes erupt when they can no longer hold the pressure buildup inside. This can cause a tremendous explosion or an overflow of lava from the crater or vents on the slope of the volcano. The Philippine archipelago lies in a region that is active geologically. This region is called the Pacific Ring of Fire. This is the reason why most of the islands in the Philippines are of volcanic origin. Now that we know what a volcano is, let us now continue to explore the different types of volcanoes. We can identify the types of volcanoes by their pattern of eruptions. There are three types of volcanoes based on their frequency of eruption or eruption history. These are active, inactive or dormant, and extinct. We will begin with the active volcano. What is an active volcano? An active volcano is a volcano that has erupted at least once for the last 10,000 years. Three of the famous volcanoes in the Philippines, namely Mayon, Pinatubo, and Taal, are active and are found in Luzon. Mount Canlaon found in the island of Negros in Visayas and Mount Muswan in Bukidnon in Mindanao are also active volcanoes. The next type of volcano is what we call inactive or dormant. What is an inactive or dormant type of volcano? An inactive volcano, sometimes called dormant or sleeping volcano, has not erupted for a very long time, but can potentially erupt in the future. There are also a lot of inactive volcanoes that can be seen in the Philippines, such as Anilao Hill in Batangas, Lake Danao in Leyte, and Mount Sibulan in Davao. The last type of volcano is the extinct volcano. What is an extinct volcano? An extinct volcano has not erupted for the past 10,000 years or will not erupt in the future. There are some extinct volcanoes that can also be seen in the country like Mount Ginsiliban in Comigin Island. But did you know that there were some volcanoes that were considered extinct that eventually erupted? The best example of this scenario is the Four Peak Volcano located in Alaska, 
wherein it was considered extinct for over 10,000 years but eventually erupted last September 2006. This is why some experts have considered using the terms active and inactive volcanoes. They are now being cautious in using the term extinct because no one can tell for certain if a volcano will erupt again in the future. Now that we know the different types of volcanoes, we will now proceed with classifying volcanoes. Most people assume that volcanoes are all tall, cone-shaped structures that erupt violently and produce huge amount of ash and gas. However, not all volcanoes are limited to these features. Volcanoes vary in structure and the type of eruption they have. Volcanoes can be classified into three groups based on their structure. These groups are shield volcanoes, cinder cone volcanoes, and stratovolcanoes. First, let's discuss shield volcanoes. Shield volcanoes are built out of layers of lava from non-violent eruptions. Because the eruption from shield volcanoes are fluid, the lava usually covers a huge area. Shield volcanoes usually do not reach great heights. Instead, the layers of lava from the volcano give it gently sloping sides. These volcanoes can cover huge areas with basalt, which is usually what lava becomes once it has cooled. While shield volcanoes are not tall, it can cover a huge area. A good example of a shield volcano is Mauna Loa, which is considered to be the largest volcano on Earth. However, most of it is submerged in the sea. If measured from its true base, which is found under the sea, it measures up to 17 kilometers in height. Let's now go to the next one, the cinder cone volcanoes. Cinder cones are also called scoria cones. They represent the smallest type of volcanoes, rarely exceeding 1,000 feet in height. These volcanoes are entirely composed of pyroclastic materials or volcanic ash. They are quite common and associated with both composite or shield volcanoes. They typically occur on the flanks or sides of these volcanoes where secondary vents have opened. Taal Volcano in Batangas has several cinder cones. The main crater of the volcano, also known as the Vulcan Point, is a small cinder cone. Another example is the Cerro Negro cinder cone found in Nicaragua. It was discovered in April 1850 and has a current elevation of 728 meters. And for the last one among these three categories, let's discuss stratovolcanoes or composite volcanoes. Stratovolcanoes are tall, cone-shaped volcanoes. Their steep slopes are made of layers of hardened lava and volcanic ash. Unlike shield volcanoes, stratovolcanoes have steep profiles and periodic eruptions. The lava that flows from stratovolcanoes is highly viscous, which is why it cools down before it spreads far from the vent. The Mayon volcano is an example of a stratovolcano. It is one of the most active composite volcanoes in the Philippines. Stratovolcanoes are the most popular type of volcano known to people. Towering peaks that extend several thousand meters above the ground, visually dominating the landscape around them. Wow! Volcanoes are surely interesting to talk about. Let's have a quick recap about them. The three types of volcanoes based on their frequency of eruption or eruption history are active, inactive or dormant, and extinct. Volcanoes can be classified into three groups based on their structure. These groups are shield volcanoes, cinder cone volcanoes, and stratovolcanoes. And that's all for today. I hope you learned a lot from our discussion on volcanoes today. Before we end our lesson for today, I am inviting you again to join us in a magical learning experience at home. Enroll now at Vival's Happy Homeschool Program. You can find the details in the description section below. Join me again for our next Scientific Friday and together, let us discover things around us. Because science is everywhere! This has been Teacher Janelle for 
Teacher Vival. Goodbye, everyone!